Hey y'all, so this is day five post-op. I am on my way to my um, last massage before I leave town Wednesday. Um, I'm still, of course, laying in the car <laughs> on my stomach. For the first time last night, me and my husband, we have two beds in a room and I had, he's been sleeping in the bed with me every day because I've been in so much pain and I'm not used to sleeping in the bed by myself. And last night he was like, babe, I think you should just sleep in the bed by yourself and scratch out. And so he got in the other bed. And when I say I slept like a baby, I was so comfortable because I was in so much pain for some reason last night out of nowhere. Um, it felt like sharp shooting pains. But I can say, like when I scratched out and I propped my leg up like this, I don't know if y'all can see, I slept like a freaking baby. Y'all... This has been amazing. It's so everyone keep asking me how much did I pay for my surgery for the Lipo 360 and the um, BBL. All together, I paid roughly 5700 for the surgery itself. That's not including the 700 I paid for my hotel, um, food out here, um, <laughs> Just all the little extra stuff. Um, so all together, I can say I probably spent about $1,700 coming to Miami. That's including flight, that's including hotel, that's including food, that's including surgery, that's including the accessories. Um, and I might spend another two or 300 before I leave. I don't know because I got a bad spending habit. But I feel like all the money I have spent is well worth it. Um, please, please, if you come out here and have surgery, do not have step. Don't have step. Um, be prepared to come out here and stay for a couple of days. I met a couple girls and they left before they was even clear. They didn't have money for their medic. Oh, uh, they didn't have money for their medication. I literally, you know, I'm so freaking nice. I gave somebody like a Percocet and an antibacteria. So like, just because like, if y'all gonna pay for this surgery, take it serious. Like don't waste, all, don't spend all this money and then come out here with two, three hundred dollars and can't afford your medicine. Don't buy your faha because that's why your booty gonna be lump sided or messed up. Like prepare yourself. And if you know like, okay, this is not the right moment. I don't have enough money. My funds not right. They will reschedule your surgery for a future date. You know, like you just have to communicate. I suggest at least coming to or wherever you're going to have your um you had a flower. Don't come out here with just two hundred dollars in your pocket because you're not gonna be able to really do nothing. Like I even met one girl, she came out here with a food some card. Go ahead, Sus, go ahead. She was prepared. You don't wanna come out here and spend all that money and half step and then leave a day or two after surgery you haven't been cleared and then stuff go wrong like you know please be prepared i would suggest at least come out here with a thousand dollars at least and that's after all your stuff is already paid for in advance if you pay for your stuff in advance you get it at a cheaper price a lot of my stuff like my hotel my surgery i paid for three four months ago so when i came out here literally the only thing i had to do was buy food and what else whatever else i wanted like extra stuff um and then also find out if your insurance will cover your medicine out of state oh and another thing i forgot to tell y'all um if y'all not staying at the recovery house make sure you have a rental car don't try to uber yourself backwards and forth to the doctor because you're not going to be able to lay down um and when you go on priceline and stuff and you see all those rental cars that say nine ten dollars a day it's a lie don't go for it go to the bigger companies because they're gonna give you the run around i went to budget um i got a big jeep for nine days and i paid what 357 and um no deposit well i also used the credit card but um yeah make sure that you have transportation but if you are staying at the recovery house they will make sure that you get backwards and forth to where you go before um before y'all come find out if you have insurance do your insurance cover your medication out of state because that can save you some money and if it don't ask them the prescriptions they're going to give you so you can know how much you'll be paying i always say go to walmart because 
um, Walmart prescriptions are usually $4 for the um, anti, I meant for the, um, what's the name of, babe, what's the name of the medicine you take for like infections? Antibiotic, my bad, y'all. For the antibiotic. Um, but yeah, find, make sure you do all your research before you come out here. Luckily, me, my insurance is taken all over the damn world. So I got out here, I used my insurance card, they covered it. I was like, hey, $56 I saved. Um, but yeah, like, y'all just be very prepared when y'all come out here. Don't be half stepping because that's your body. You're gonna have to look like this the rest of your life. Y'all, and I don't like riding in the stomach. I mean, in the car on my stomach. Like, it made me very nauseous. Like, seasick, but car sick. Like, but hopefully they let me record while I'm having my drainage done. Um, because I told y'all I would show y'all that part. Um, but I don't know because I don't know. I just don't freaking know. I'm hot, y'all. Like, it's raining out here, but I'm hot for some reason. Um, I did take me some Tylenol before I go because I told y'all the massages hurt. Um, so I took two 500 milligram Tylenols. Um, my husband is driving, of course, he always drives. So you can't drive for three to four weeks anyway. I don't drive anyway, I'm like super lazy. Like, I probably get on my husband's last nerve because like even at home, I would jump right in the passenger seat and he'd be looking at me like, you really ain't gonna drive? I'm like, mm, no, I'm not driving. So I'm inside the office getting ready for them to call me. Uh, I see the nurse today, they said, and then I'll see if they let me record. Yeah, I feel super lightheaded for some reason. So I'm not allowed to record while they doing it because they record their cell. Um, but I'm in here getting ready to have it done and I guess when they post it on their Instagram, y'all will be able to see it. So she said I was healing very well. I didn't have a lot of fluids this time, but she said it was a really good thing. I didn't have any fluids come out my back, only in my stomach. Um, so she said that was a really good sign and to continue my massages. Yeah. So y'all, I got my clearance letter to go home. They also told me that she was like, girl, this is nowhere near your final results. Your stomach is gonna tighten, your hips gonna go a boo. She said everything gonna puff. And she said, I'm gonna be so surprised. I was like, so that means it's gonna get bigger? She said, yeah. She said, so in the beginning, it goes down a little bit due to the swelling. And after all the blood cells and stuff reconnect, it puffs out even more. So I'm excited. I can't wait to see my final results. But yeah, I had a good doctor's visit. I still don't leave till Wednesday, so. I am ready to go home. I was thinking about calling the airlines to see if they'll let me change my flight for tomorrow, but it's all good. I'll stay to Wednesday. Uh, yes. And we'll see y'all soon. What's up, y'all? So it's day five of post stop. My final visit. I thought yesterday was my final visit, but no, today's my final visit. And for the first time after surgery, I finally used the bathroom. And I mean, the number two. And it's very hard to wipe your booty. Like, very hard but yeah i am here i can't see nothing <laughs> but i'm excited y'all like it's been a great little journey i'm just ready for the after results you know yeah feel okay y'all so in my beginning of my video i said day five my bad this is day six post op i go home tomorrow i was clear i'm so excited I'm finna go in the mall. My doctor said I need to drink water every hour because I was constipated. Yeah, it's right there. It's the blue one right up there by the cup holder. Um, so I got this thing of water right here for right now. But yeah, uh, I'm going to post some pictures of the doctor and me and Dr. Mejijo. I think I said his name right. You know, they all little celebrity doctors. So I'm, uh, I'm going to uh, post it or whatever. But I'm cleared to go. I'm so excited. I miss my kids. I'm ready to go home. I ain't never been so homesick. But it's funny because as soon as we get home, we leave him to go right back out of town two weeks later. Well, that's what it is.
Hey y'all, day seven. I am headed home. I am at the airport. I'm sitting on my butt pillow. I don't know if y'all can see it. Uh, your butt has to hang off. It's not as uncomfortable as they said it would be. Uh, I actually feel okay. I'm tired. I took my wig off. I said I was gonna be comfortable. I went trying to look cute on this plane. Overall, with male anesthetic, I had a very good experience and I can't wait to January for my next surgery. <laughs> anyway, y'all stay tuned. Love y'all. See y'all later. Bye.